Hello again. We're finished. Our elevator stiffeners. Finally. Took about uh, three hours or so of deburn on the wheel, getting all these as nice as I possibly could. But you can see the uh, the surface finishes quite nice now. And now we get the fun part of uh, spacing these out properly and getting a match drilled onto the skins. I'm a little apprehensive about this because I want to make sure the skins stay completely flat while I'm using the holes in the stiffener to match drill the skins. I have some pieces of MDF right there. I think I'm going to lay down on the bench and I'm going to drill right into them and then Clico right into them to keep the skin flat while these guys are being match drilled after I get the spacing all dealt with. So that's kind of my, my plan now. This is what I was doing. I was basically looking at the plans and counting the holes on the spar and lining up the stiffeners that I bought from Vans with the holes. So I basically counted three holes over from the edge of uh, the trim motor bracket, made a mark, and so on and so on and so on. It's like kind of four and a half holes, four and a bit. Um, you know, it's not precise, got things within like a quarter, but everything is looking really good. And then what I did was I wanted to keep that spar in there so I had enough clearance because I ran into some issues with my practice flap where I didn't have enough clearance between the spar and the nose of the stiffener and um, it's just something I, I told myself to watch out for when I was ever mounting stiffeners to a skin. So I took my, my gauge block here. These things are amazing. Uh, they're not very expensive and I basically just rested it up against the spar and drew a line and that kind of straight line is where I then have lined up the center mark of all these stiffeners which means that the first rivet hole will be in line all of these should be the same distance from the spar. So that's what you kind of saw me doing. So now what I'm going to do to make sure they're nice on the other side is I have my little precision square that I'm going to, you know, rest up against the spar and keeping, you know, that hole in check, I'll just make sure that the stiffener is square and then make a mark. Then once I have those marks I will tape it down fairly well then I'll fully disassemble the skin, get the spar out of the way, lay it flat on that MDF and uh, we'll get the match drilling done. But that's kinda how I plan on going about this. So I'm just gonna grab my precision square check all these here so I got them both taped down. A couple pieces of tape. I'm just running through, making sure everything is square. Uh, lined up with my marks. Everything's looking good. doing this guys is now I can lay that square in again when I get that crucial first hole and crucial last hole in but I'm quite happy with it she's nice and flat
We might a couple more Clicos than this guy, but I'm really, really happy with how that is. So we're good. Now I'm not drilling these right to uh, number 40s. <laughs> this is my 41 or 42. It's what I use to drill rivets out with. A little bit smaller than a number 40. The reason being is if I make any kind of errors. I have a little bit of insurance with this, like, this is not a good idea, that chuck is going to hit my spar, so I'm just going to come in and drill the next guy up, I'm just holding the square on it. So I did remove a bit of aluminum, I'm still under a 40, because uh, I prefer using reamers, a little bit of a nicer hole. Watch your chuck on these ones, guys. You know what? It's a little too close. I don't want to screw my skin up with that chuck. See if I can get some tape on it. Whew. Glad I did that. Caught it a wee bit. It's also why I leave that blue film on it. A little bit extra insurance. So I'm just making my way through the stiffeners. Match drilling and throwing a Clico in as I go here. I got the stiffeners in. I do have a little bit more work to do. On the back side here of J, K, and L, you'll notice that a hole's not drilled. And there is a note about this in the plans. And it's basically, if we come over to the plans, we'll see C note X, which is the distance here, and uh, C note one and note two, which is over here. And it's basically how far they want a distance from, not the last hole, but the second hole depending on the stiffener and then it's telling you to use the skin as a drill guide for these stiffeners now I don't have those holes and so I'm gonna just give Vans a call and see if I can you know use equal spacing and then trim back the stiffener to like you know almost minimum clearance because my guess is that they want to keep things away from the root of that bend it is pretty pretty tight in there. Just made equal spacings which kind of gave me that line and then uh, I could trim the stiffener back. I just want to give them a shout and make sure that is okay. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Everything is rock solid flat on this MDF so I'm, I'm pumped on that. I got everything match drilled. There are three H's on this side and four on the top side once we get that over. But totally pumped with how this all worked out. So once I just get final word on J, K, and L, we'll get these trimmed to the proper length they need to be and the hole drilled. Put them away, mark them, and 
one side will be done and three will be left to go. For all you guys who have bought your kit recently or more recently than mine as this is a fairly old kit, 2001. And you guys have these CNC holes already taken care of. Man, all the power to you. You probably chased me out of, you know, a couple weeks of work at least. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you had fun watching this video. Always a good time spending a great day in the garage building an airplane. Cheers.